Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And the Holy Bible, His written word, is our only standard for truth. And together, God's people say with hearts filled with hallelujahs, hallelujah to our King. Well, friends, today is September the 29th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, just to keep you up to date with what is going on, I've sent my computer back and I'm relying upon the old computer. Now, interestingly enough, the computer that just went back is a brand new computer, and it was taking me about six or seven hours to upload a three or four minute video. Now, that's preposterous. This computer is taking me about nine hours to upload a three or four minute video. So you can understand the diligence I'm putting into getting these videos out for you, but at the same time, the difficulty that it's causing me. So your prayers are certainly appreciated. And I wouldn't expect you to pray over something so simple as a computer, but certainly continue to pray for me. The Lord will give me the, the diligence and the withal to be able to continue forward uh, so that until we get the new co computer back and hopefully all those issues are resolved, we can move forward and then I can begin to put out the teaching videos as well, which you know sometimes are in length between 15 and 30 minutes. And obviously, if it takes nine hours for a three-minute video, I don't have enough time in the day to get out a 15 to a 30-minute video. With all that being said, I trust that you are overjoyed in Jesus today. I trust that your heart is bursting with living waters that flow from the throne of God and His Spirit have put a smile upon your face and joy in your heart to know that you have been washed, you have been purified, you have been sanctified, and you will be glorified one day so that you can stand in the presence of our almighty King, Jesus of Nazareth. Yes, hallelujah. Well, friends, our text is going to be taken today from 1 Corinthians, and I want to look specifically at verse 11. And so let's read that, and then let's back up and let's see exactly what it's talking about. It says, such were some of you. At one time in your life, these are the characteristics that you exhibited. But now, you have been washed. Now imagine yourself, or let's just say imagine a pig, wallowing in the mud, filthy, dirty, grimy, slimy, and you take and you wash that pig. He is a new creature. He has been washed. Well, see yourself in that same way, friends. You have been washed. All the ugliness, all the blackness, all the dirtiness, all the sin, all the things that God disapproved of at one time, you have been washed, made clean in the presence of Almighty God. Not only have you been washed, but you've been sanctified. So it would be, you know, if you clean that pig and then you let him back out there, he's going to go straight back to the mud. But what the Bible tells us is not only have we been washed and made ready for God, but we have been sanctified by his spirit. So there's almost a cocoon around us, a spiritual invisible cocoon that keeps us from becoming dirty again. And what I mean by that is we've been given the spirit of the living God to live within us and he causes us to want to remain clean, not to get dirty. And the moment that we get our hands dirty, we immediately begin to wash them. We can't stand the filth. We immediately cleanse ourselves again through what Jesus did for us on that old rugged cross. Not only have you been washed, not only have you been sanctified, you have been justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Now, in order to better understand this, imagine someone coming out of a jail cell and going and standing before a judge. And the judge says, well, we have all these offenses against you. But I also have a piece of paper here that says all these offenses have been forgiven you. You're not going to spend another day in jail. You are free to walk out of this court a free man because everything has been taken care of. Someone on your behalf has justified these offenses. 
Well, friends, that's exactly who we were. We were prisoners to, say, to sin. We were slaves to sin. And when we stood before our great judge, he said, I see that all these if offenses you're being accused of, but someone, hallelujah, has justified you and paid your offenses and you are free to go. You are a free man. Well, friends, I want to encourage you today, if you've been washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, if you are trusting in the work that he performed some 2,000 years ago, if you know that his spirit lives within you and compels you to live a godly life, a God-fearing life, a God-honoring life, then friends, you have been justified and you have every reason today to lift your hands and to shout from the top of your lungs, Hallelujah. And friends, it is that joy that causes our hearts to overflow with the living waters that flow from the throne of God because we know that we were washed, we were sanctified, we were justified, and there is coming a day where we will be glorified in new bodies where we can spend the rest of our days in the presence of our Lord who is so holy so pure, so righteous, and so worthy. And so friends, I leave you with that word of encouragement today. Walk in joy. Walk in the fullness of the Holy Spirit, knowing what he has done for you, what he is doing for you, and what he will continue to do for you. Well, hallelujah, friends. I love you. I'm so thankful that you're again here today. Now may you walk in the joy of the Spirit, and may each and everything that you do say and think bring him honor, glory, and praise. Now, as he wills, and until next time, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.